Hey guys, it's Marie here and I have a card making process video for you today. I'm going to be creating a card with a watercolor background and I'm going to be using these Jane Davenport Bright watercolors and I'm going to start off with a piece of Tim Holtz or Ranger watercolor paper and I'm going to use this as my card front. I'm going to just take some of the really pretty pink colors from that palette and I'm going to just start to create just a really loose watercolor background here for my card. All I've done here is I've just taken some clean uh, water. I've just brushed it across my watercolor paper here with just a flat brush. And now I'm just taking a variety of the different colors from that palette and I'm just adding them randomly here, just using a little bit of plastic to help smoosh them around. So I'm just, you can just see that I'll put the color on there with lots of water and then just take that plastic and lay it over top and press down on it so that the watercolor spreads out over the background just to create this really pretty loose watercolor background. And I really like how this turns out and you'll see how I mute this down with a little bit of vellum here as I go along. So I'm just going to uh, take my time here letting these different layers dry in between. Now I just want to intensify that pink a little bit and I'm just going in with one of the darker pinks in that palette of colors to um, just like I said intensify the pink a little bit more. So I started out with the lighter pink and now I'm just going to add a little bit of this darker. You can see where that pink and yellow meet. It creates kind of like an orange effect and I really like how that looks. Now I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more of that teal color and just to intensify that a little bit. Now I am going to, like I said, add some vellum over top of this and it will really mute the colors. So you can see that piece of vellum that I've cut, I've placed over top and I've just glued that down with a piece of plus vellum glue tape. And I really, really love this uh, runner tape runner and it's specifically for adhering vellum and it is absolutely invisible. I love it. I actually picked that up at Simon Says Stamp and it is, the, the brand is Plus. Now I'm taking my very most favorite all to new stamp set ever and it's called Peony Bouquet and I'm going to just stamp it down there using my block with some Versamark ink. Now I did take my little um, anti-static powder tool there first and I put that across my vellum so that the um, embossing powder only sticks to the Versamark ink and that way you'll get just a really nice clean crisp image when you heat that embossing powder up. So the embossing powder I'm using here today is the Nouveau Gold Enchantment embossing powder. It's beautiful. I really, really love it. And you can see that you get just a really beautiful um, effect with this embossing powder. So now I'm just going to heat that up. I don't want to heat my vellum up too much, but it, it does actually take the embossing really well. And this is a really thick vellum from Stampin' Up that I'm using here. Now you can see I added a few more stamps. I added a, a leaf stamp in a couple places from that same set and another bloom. And now I'm just going to take this Simon Says Stamp Thanks die and I've cut it with my Big Shot out of both some yellow glitter paper from Recollections and some white craft foam. I'm going to just adhere that yellow glitter paper to the uh, foam so that that word thanks just pops up off my card a little bit more. I'm sticking it on there with some multi-medium matte glue from Ranger and I'm going to just get that on there. My bottle's starting to get really empty, so I am squeezing it as hard as I can here <laughs> to get um, some of that adhesive out. I really like this adhesive because it dries matte and it's not shiny on your any of your surfaces when you're done. It also has a little bit of time, gives you a little bit of time to move things around and place them properly, which I like for this particular technique because it is kind of a little bit cumbersome to line up that die cut on top of that foam. Now, I really like how that looks. I like the yellow glitter on top and just makes the, um, the yellow even in that background stand out a little bit more and it just really pops nicely off of the card. So now I'm going to just take that same adhesive and I'm going to just put a little bit more down there. You can see I'm really squeezing the <laughs> bottle and I'm going to just stick this down to my vellum on my card front. And I'm actually going to then adhere this just to uh, 
a card base that is um, some 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. So you'll see that here in a minute. There it is. Just going to adhere this down to a side folding card base. And I'm actually going to just take uh, my favorite thing scallop uh, frame in the rectangle shape and I'm going to take that same yellow glitter paper and I'm going to just take my Tombow Mono glue and I'm going to adhere this down to my card front as a frame behind that watercolor piece that I'm going to add onto my card here in a second. So I'm just going to take that now I'm going to put quite a bit of um, ATG adhesive on the back of my watercolor paper here because I want it to flatten out on my card. It's a little bit warped from the water and I'm going to just get lots of adhesive on there and stick that down really well to my card front and that is going to almost finish off the front of my card. I am going to take some little sequins from Little Things from Lucy's Cards and these are Twinkle Lights sequins and I'm going to use a pink, a yellow, and an aqua colored sequin and I just love those sequin packs of uh, from that company. They're really gorgeous and they have little stars in that pack and all kinds of little different colors and shapes and, and they're really cute for all kinds of different purposes for card making or different projects that you might want to create in your studio. So I'm just going to take some more of that multimedia mat and stick my little sequins down and my card is going to be almost finished. I am going to actually get grab a um, an envelope from Simon Says Stamp in the uh, teal color to go along with this and I'm going to stick this into a plastic envelope and put it into my card stash. So um, you'll just see this uh, little sleeve that I'm going to put the, the card in here in a few seconds. I end up putting it in there backwards, but anyways, um, you get the idea of how I store my cards in my, um, in my craft room. And so that when I need a thank you card, it's all ready to go. Now I'm going to take a Stampin' Up! sentiment here from this set and it just says thank you for your kindness. I'm going to stamp that on the inside of my card just with some black ink and that is going to be it. I just used some VersaFine Onyx black ink on the inside just to get a really nice crisp sentiment stamped there. And there you can see I was trying to choose between two colors, this uh, teal color and the yellow. And I really like this. Uh, I think it's really pretty and I think it goes along nicely with my card. So I'm going to just stick this in this little cover. Uh, pick these up at Simon Says Stamp. Um, and you can grab those from Simon if you would like to store your cards this way. Thanks so much for stopping by today, guys. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.